Hey guys, it's JT from Minecraft A to Z again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a redstone activated minecart booster. This is a really good design if you want your minecart system to be fully automated. Okay, let's take a look at what we're going to need. I always carry a pick and a shovel. Uh, you're going to need some tracks, some building material, a couple of carts, a push button, a redstone torch and some redstone dust. Okay, so now you've got all the things you need together, let's start building. What you're going to do is dig a channel three wide by six long. Once you've done that, you need to get some building material and at one end place a block there tight to the channel in the middle at the other end tight to the side leave one block and place a block there and again leave a one block space and place a block there now let's get some tracks down start from there in the middle lay it around this block down into the channel out the other side and up onto that block <coughs> do the same on the other side down into the channel up the other side and onto that block now the next thing you want to do is break away that top path track and place a block in their place Okay, that's going to be main line. Now you need to add the booster section. Just fill in that middle there. Don't come out at either end. Make sure it's all inside the channel. You can now break away that block if you want to. So, your booster section is now complete. I'll explain how that works later, but next just follow me. <coughs> from this corner or either corner it's up to you I'm going to use this corner place track don't make this too long about as long as I've made it you can maybe make it a little bit longer or shorter it works for whatever you need once you've built it out like that build it to the right loop it round on itself so that it meets again now what this will do is as the cart comes down, here I'll show you, as the cart comes down the line, it'll go round there and be forced straight on over the track again and back down. So, now all your track's in, it's time to lay down some redstone for your uh, switch. From this corner here, where you extended that line there, place a piece of redstone dust take a look at the track what happens when I place this down you just switch the wrong way this is a common glitch um, you will have to put a redstone inverter in it's not a big problem sometimes it does switch sometimes it doesn't if it does just add this redstone inverter it's quite simple to build that's it and it switched it back <coughs> from behind that block extend your redstone I'm gonna go up here like this, extend it up the back and put a push plate there. That's it guys, your redstone activated booster is now finished. Uh, let's take a look at how it's going to work. <coughs> Go ahead and place a cart just there and one on the top part of this loop here and push it down. You can see that this cart on the loop here will be boosted continually by the cart in the middle line until you stop it. Um, the redstone switch that you added earlier will change this line here so that it switches and sends the cart down this line here. It will come around the loop, boost the cart on your main line and go back down and reset itself ready for the next boost. Okay, I'll show you with this cart. 
comes down, boosts that car away, falls back down in there and resets itself. That's it, thank you guys for watching. I'm JT from Minecraft A to Z. Remember to comment, subscribe and check us out at minecraftadaz.net. Thank you for watching.